Hi guys, Goodgolf here with a new video on Unity Terrain. In this video I will introduce Foliage Renderer, the latest asset by Jason Booth and Ellen White in the Asset Store. I will probably do a few more videos on this asset, but let me first show you the basics of what this is about. This tool will basically optimize terrain detail and trees rendering for a much better quality and performance compared to Unity Terrain out of the box. Well, seeing is believing, so before I show how simple it is to apply it to an existing scene, let me first demo the quality difference and the performance boost. Let's start with the quality difference. I applied Foliage Renderer to Nature Manufacturer's Forest Environment. In hindsight, maybe not the best assets for visual comparison, but we'll see later on that this is very useful for the performance comparison. Back to the visual comparison. I'm now showing a clip where you need to look at the center of the scene just behind the bridge. In the first run, we see basic unity terrain and the grass details are simply not visible. When you move closer, you get the typical popping in of the details which sort of destroys the illusion in the scene. Next, I show you the same scene with Foliage Renderer enabled. Look at the same spot and you will see the grass details are there. If you'd use this on a scene with meadows or grassy plains, this effect would be even more pronounced. I think it's safe to say that the quality improvement is pretty clear now. So, the visuals do improve, but at what performance cost? Well, let me run a side-by-side -side comparison of Nature Manufacturer's forest environment scene with and without foliage renderer applied. The number of draw calls made with foliage renderer is significantly lower than without, so that's a first good sign. Note that in this scene only 192 draw calls are made by Foliage Renderer according to its own report out. We'll get back to the difference between the total draw calls and the Foliage Renderer's 192 in a minute. Next up, the Wait on Graphics thread time. This is something I learned from the Foliage Renderer's documentation. It's a time that the CPU needs to wait on the GPU to finish the draw calls. As you can see, after an initial spike at the start of the scene, this immediately drops to zero, so the GPU is not overloaded with all the additional vegetation which is being shown. So that looks like a solid positive. More quality in the visuals and a better performance with it. Not bad at all. How about the number of draw calls? which is still quite a bit above the 192 which Foliage Renderer reports. Well, there are other objects in the scene which need to be rendered. Let's switch them off and see the impact. The water surely has a big impact. Hmm, actually it doesn't seem so. So, River Auto Material from Nature Manufacture is a solid performer. Let's switch off the larger details, like rocks and tree logs. This is a third less draw calls, so obviously room for optimization here. And what about the bridge? Ok, that one shaves off about a hundred draw calls by itself. So, you can optimize the scene bit by bit and reduce the draw calls where needed. It will be a trade-off between some of the visuals and the performance, however the vegetation doesn't have to suffer like it does in the standard Unity terrain. Ok, so this looks pretty good. How much effort does it cost to get foliage renderer applied to your terrain scene? Well. Not a lot. These are the steps you need to perform. Import the foliage renderer package.
create the foliage renderer through the menu item. Then you need to patch the existing vegetation shaders. In order for the details to be shown at a larger distance from the camera, you need to set the details visibility mode to manual. Then update the materials associated to the vegetation to increase go far start distance. So it's fairly simple to set up. Be aware that not all vegetation shaders will be patched easily. Foliage Renderer includes support for the popular the Vegetation Engine shaders, which I will try out and create a video about, but that's for later. And there's an active Discord channel where you can go if you get stuck. Ellen from Dice Ranch Designs is very active in further development of the asset and support. Obviously, I'm enthusiastic about this asset and I will be playing around with it. I'm dusting off my VR headset as we speak, so trying that out with Microsplat, Microverse and Foliage Renderer is coming your way. Also, I would like to compare features of Foliage Renderer with an old favorite of mine, Vegetation Studio Pro. That one will be a bit more tricky, since VS Pro is no longer supported by the author but we'll see how far we can get. Ok, thanks for watching today's video. I'm off working on the next one and if you like this video then please give it a thumbs up.